Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. And of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. Not at all. That was very clever. Yeah. He was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns. So the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <laughs> I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Was he a sports fan? I don't think so. He had a jersey that he wouldn't let anyone touch. But I don't think it was a token of his love of sports, more like a reminder of simpler times. <laughs> Look at me, Abby. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. No need to worry. I'm fine. <sighs> Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at. Someone here to see you.
Good luck out there. Private Rivers. Yes, sir. I've got a message from South Division's Field Commander Baron. She's agreed to meet with you. She set up a rendezvous point at the unfinished metro station. You'll need to enter the canal system under the bridge. The meeting's supposed to take place tomorrow, so I suggest moving out soon. Understood. And, Rivers, because of what you did for our guys at that hospital, I'll give you a heads up about Commander Baron. Don't expect a warm welcome. Looks like you're leaving us soon. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Me? <laughs> no. I still have hope I'll get that bus running again. Also, I don't like the attention Skynet's given you guys. I'd rather stay as far from the line of fire as possible. Patrick, get back here! You better go see what's going on. Is everything all right? Patrick's decided that he wants to be a scavenger. And now he won't come out, even though I'm worried sick he'll get stuck. Get back here right now, Patrick! But there's lots of cool stuff in here. You told me it's our job to find stuff for the group. Your sister is right. Get back here. It's too dangerous. Oh, all right, all right. I'm coming out. What was that all about just now? I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Okay. I'm going with you. And don't even try to stop me. Are you sure? What's the matter? Don't they let you boys bring dates? Don't worry, kid. She's just worried about you. But she never lets me do anything! That's what older siblings do. They look out for us. Was your brother like that too? Well, not really. Looks like we got here first. Is everything all right? You seem a little out of it. <sighs> Sorry. I probably shouldn't zone out like that with a gun in my hands, huh? Am I making you nervous? <laughs> no, not really. Well, you should be. I don't have any formal training like you. I never even held a gun until recently. Can I be honest with you? Sure. There's a reason I decided to come here with you. I want to meet Commander Baron myself. They're here. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants, no, needs to have a meeting with me, I thought, oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! 
And what did you do about it? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Jennifer's right. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. Today is all about private rivers. So what can you tell me that I don't know already? A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. Half man, half machine? What are you talking about? How did your men let an enemy get that close to you? And we didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. This infiltrator... is it still alive? I I'm not sure. Okay, for now keep everything to yourself. I don't want any rumors. Especially since you only think you saw something. Skynet's coming! We're not done here yet, Rivers. Take this plasma! You're a resistance soldier. Time to act like one. To your positions! Drones! Up there! Take cover! Don't be shy, Rivers! We need to move! Get that door open! What the fuck? Fall back! Fall back! Eyes on that door! Terminators! Aren't you? Find some! Let's go! You can be sure there's gonna be more! Armored spider ahead! Don't let it get near you! More Terminators! How many? I count three!
Almost there! Got grenades? Fucking throw them! <laughs> Ambush! They knew we were coming! How did they know? With the Annihilation Line getting closer, they must have eavesdropped on our conversation. We're on their radar now. God damn it! They were waiting for us! We're surrounded! Take positions! I got this! Leaving already? There's too many of them! Hold it! Through here! Come on! Follow her! Get inside! We used to have an outpost here, but we were spread out too thin and had to pull everyone back. When the Annihilation Line hit us, we couldn't hold our positions. We would be dead if we stayed. Is that what happened in Pasadena? Exactly. There's a shortcut that'll get us out of here. We just have to make our way to that industrial building. As soon as that aerial moves, we run. It's clear. Go! We're getting close.
We're getting close. Keep going! God, you're okay! Save that for later. We're not safe yet. We need to get the hell out of here. Where to? The shelter! I'm, uh, I'm sorry about before. And I'm sorry about your soldiers. No need for that. You'll have a hard time getting up every morning if you dwell on that too much. Machines don't do that. And if we want to destroy them, neither can we. Rivers, since Pacific Division no longer exists, you will now answer to me. That makes you a part of TechCom. Congratulations. No more sitting around waiting for Skynet to come to you. Over here we go out there and meet the enemy face on. This is it. Resistance Shelter, South Division. Baron, DN38217. Commander. There with me. Where are the others? Where's my husband? They're dead. Over here's our quartermaster. If you need anything beyond the standard issue equipment, work it out with him. And here's Alvin, residing chief Egghead. Uh, I prefer laboratory director. Like I said, Egghead. He supplies all techcom units with weapon modifications. Everything looks well organized. It is. Everyone pulls their weight here. If someone doesn't, we become weak. And you can probably imagine where I stand on being weak. I'll get right to it. There's a reason I decided to meet you. We intercepted some interesting data. It turns out you're part of a prestigious group. A group of people that Skynet marked for termination. See, John Connor, the leader of the Resistance, is number one on that list. Then, there's me. I know, I'm flattered. Every day, we lead, we fight, and we plan on how to destroy Skynet's central core. So I know exactly why we're on that fucking list. But why would Private Rivers be number three? 
That infiltrator said something about me being marked for termination. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to have a word with Connor about that. And that brings me to my second point, your first assignment. After the Annihilation Line got to Pasadena, Skynet started building installations there. I want you to go there and collect some intel, so we know what we're up against. Sounds dangerous. It will be. Check with Alvin before you go, he'll have something for you. Remember, you might be valuable to Skynet, but the way I see it, you're still a private. Dismissed. And Rivers, civilians don't need to know about what happened out there. <laughs>